Hi everybody and welcome to Mother Cow Crochet. Today I was thinking about starting talking about something practical. <laughs> um, first of all, uh, on the fun side, yay! I got a Ravelry account. <laughs> if anyone wants to be my friend, it's Mother Cow Crochet on Ravelry. <laughs> uh, so I managed to put down some uh, personal information and I managed to um, get a, a picture in and I'm so satisfied. <laughs> now I'm just going to find my way around. I've uh, also joined a group, uh, the Canadian Crutcheter. I'm super on. <laughs> so uh, no, I'm feeling quite good about that. And I actually started a um, foundation row <laughs> to the uh, locale in case I want to join. Uh, so I've got that one. Um, so that was the fun part. And now on to... It's not that it's not... It's not fun, but it isn't, I'm not dying either uh, about it. And I'm, uh, I'm just curious because um, we've been watching our thumbs up and uh, all the new uh, uh, followers, subscribers uh, and so on. And we, I think it's so, so happy, uh, fun that there are people who wants to, um, follow me with my crocheting and sharing what they are doing and so on. I think it's, I think it's lovely you know, that people take time from their busy lives to do something like that. Um, and I've seen around, I watch quite a few videos <laughs> on the YouTube and I follow quite a few vloggers or podcasters. Um, and there is always, always, almost always, at least, someone who doesn't like it and gives it a thumb down. Why? I got my first thumb down uh, on my last video. And I was curious. That at, I, I'm not put down by that. Not at all. Uh, but I'm curious. What's there to not like? <laughs> to be so annoyed about that you have to point out that it's bad. Really, I, th I don't know. I actually, I've th thought that a thousand times when I'm uh, watching a video and I think, ah, oh, no, that wasn't how I was, uh, or I was would think how to do that the best way, or, oh, I wouldn't crochet a border like that. I don't give it a thumbs down just because I don't agree with the woman or the man or the person who does the video. And if it's something that I don't like, yeah. if I uh, search for something and I'm clicking on a video and I realize that this isn't the subject I was after, I just stop watching and move on. Why do I have to point out that this was bad? This was not what I wanted. Uh, you are doing it the wrong way. Because there are, there are no wrong ways. They are just, there are just different ways. And it, it, it annoys me a bit. Uh, we had that discussion in, uh, in our sofa too, uh, for a time, for some time ago. I asked my fiance, why is there a thumbs down? And he says, okay, when you're watching a pattern and it doesn't match up, then you should give it a thumbs down. And then I say, why should I do that? Is it so, so very sure that I'm doing the right thing? Or am I just misunderstanding the person who is doing the video? I don't know. So. I don't give it a thumbs up instead. And I just move 
on. I don't know why it's so, so meaningful to put other people down. Because there are people who got get put down by a thumbs down. Um, there were, uh, you know, America's Got Talent, we got Sweden's Got Talent. Uh, there was a little boy who sang uh, a, a real rocky version of some uh, some kind. He was a real <laughs> rocker. <laughs> um, he was, I think he was 10 years old. And he got a lot of thumbs down because he was a little bit round. What's that got to do with it? Really, what's that got to do with it? I know people commented on a girl who was in a band. They sang uh, covers and did it in a 50s kind of way. Uh, new songs and they did it, uh, redid it. And she got a comment about, oh, it's a good song, but look at that dress. She's too fat to have that dress. And they actually write it. Why? I get really annoyed, actually. Really, really annoyed. I'm trying to teach my kids that if you haven't got anything nice to say, don't say anything. Just shut up. Just walk on. <laughs> Move on. Don't put people down. I think it was on um, Crochet O'Clock. Uh, she got a lot of um, uh, thumbs down. Uh, uh, for some reason. I don't really know the reason. But uh, as she said in that <laughs> video, she said she doesn't mind because the YouTube uh, takes, is an, uh, as, takes it as an interaction. So whether you say a thumbs up or a thumbs down, you've uh, been active uh, on a video and that's what accounts on YouTube. So uh, she just says, says thank you for the thumbs down because <laughs> it makes her video go higher up. Um, so that's um, just uh, that's just what it is. So um, in my world YouTube wouldn't have any thumbs down, just thumbs up. Um, so um, I like or don't do anything. I will never, ever, ever uh, do a thumbs down. I just move on. And even if it's a subject that I are uh, horrible uh, and you really do dislike it, I'm not giving it a thumbs down. Because then I've uh, been active on that video. Um, and as I said, that's a, <laughs> that's a thumbs up <laughs> for um, YouTube. So I'm not uh, giving it any attention at all. So that's me. Uh, and um, <laughs> no one has to agree with me. Uh, so, but that's just me. Uh, You know, they're now over to the crochet bits. That's more, much more fun. So I got my color. We went to Ikea yesterday, so I had some crochet time in the car. And so I did some of my color, or color, color, that <laughs> color. Um, front, uh, or what you can call it. So I've come quite a long way. This is it. So I'm I'm getting there. Oh, it's cozy. It's super cozy. Um, perhaps mm, what can I say? Ten centimeters, perhaps fifteen centimeters left, and then it's uh, sewing time or crocheting together. I think slip stitching it together. Actually, I think. So, um, keeping on with that good work, and I was thinking that I would be finished this weekend with this, 
But, you know, I got the new yarn. And I started a project on my uh, knitting needles. Because um, I had to start. Because after uh, uh, January last, I wasn't allowed to do anything more. New projects. Just my whips. To lower my whip, whip basket. So I got my circular needles. My Knit Pro. Like those. Love those actually. Because they are light. And they are... They suit well in the hand. And they... They click. I need to hear that clicking when I knit. Something strange with me. I just need to hear. So I don't like plastic. Uh, and I uh, definitely don't like bamboo. Because the uh, yarn gets stuck, I think. So I like these. Uh, I think it's... They are uh, hollow, I think. So they are very, very light. Um, so that's what I'm using. Um, and it's, I think it's a size six. And my yarn is size five, knitting needles five. And da -da -da -da, look what I did. Isn't it nice? This is the blue up here that I got. I don't know what the colorway was called. And this is ocean. I really do like that. I think I would call it something else than ocean. <laughs> but I love the colors. Because there are some blues and then some greens. And there is a... I think it could be white, but it could be yellow too. And there are some yellow spots in it too but i really think it's marvelous and i did all this in a weekend quite satisfied and this is um one of those swingy things um i my first sweater i did in raglan uh, but it's you really see uh the uh, increases very very much and I'm not always glad about that one okay change of scenery because um, someone knocked on my door and I had to go to the dentist not because of the knock on the door but I had an appointment so now I'm back again <laughs> Now I'm sitting in my sofa instead. I don't know if you can see it. Yes, I can. This is my lovely woolly uh, blanket from Scotland. My friend were there um, this fall. So uh, she texted me and asked me if I wanted a blanket. <laughs> and she sent me a picture of it and I said, oh yes, totally. So it's a woolly blanket from Scotland, like that one. Just a little off track there. <laughs> I was talking about Raglan. So um, the first sweater I did this summer for one of the girls, I did. Um, uh, I chose to do. When you do Raglan, you have. Uh, an increase, one stitch, and an increase. So you increase two on this side, two on that side, and the same on the back. So in my mind, okay, eight increases a row. And I, f I just spread them out on the whole uh, round. It would be the same. Uh, same shape on the increases, or the sweater. Uh, so I just uh, divide my... Uh, on, on the first I did, I counted out my stitches, and so I had uh, eight stitches, and uh, you know, when you crochet, you do six, twelve, eighteen, uh, and, so, and so on, and so on. So I did the same here, I did, uh, but with eight. 
and then you can see the increases on every because there were four uh, you can say triangles so you can see them very very clearly clearly i think when you had uh, a solid color and i didn't like that one either uh, so i was thinking uh, i was thinking crochet uh, and i was thinking okay i got eight stitches uh, per round and can just throw them out <laughs> if you know what I mean. So I divided my uh, my project in two. Uh, so I had set a stitch marker on the beginning and a stitch marker uh, halfway through. So I just increased four stitches on one side and four stitches on the other side. Uh, totally random. Um, one in the beginning, two at the middle and one at the end. Uh, so then it won't show that much, I think. I don't think that shows that much. And it's so simple. I don't need to count. I don't need to do anything. I just stitch. So uh, that's how I do my round regulum. Because there are no s such thing, but I'm calling it that. Um, so... It's super simple for those who want to try it's super simple I just do my neckline for me this is 64 stitches I think and I did uh, ribbing with one by one so it's one um, I don't know what it's called in English but it's one of the other, <laughs> one of the first and one of the other. I don't, I, I, in Swedish it's called avig orett. In English, I don't know. But uh, an ordinary ribbing one by one. And then just uh, ordinary stitching. And then I increase eight, as I said, every round and every, uh, every other row. So uh, increase eight and then just do one row uh, in every stitch and then increase eight stitches and then I move on like this. I don't really know if this is going to fit me because <laughs> I haven't done one for myself. I've just done for the kids. So this one I started as I said with 64 um, and when I got down here and uh, when I cast off I got 200 and No, I don't recall. I got 65 and 65. That is 130. And I got 80 on the arms. Yeah, so it's 210. <laughs> that should be right. 210. And when I got 210, I cast off. I cast off 40 for my armhole. And on the next row, I put on six more stitches. So I got uh, under the arm, I got six more stitches. And then you just keep on knitting. And so far I've used almost two skeins. I got, sorry, there it is. No, there it is, I dropped it. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Moving you around. So this is what I got left. Not that much. But I've only used two skeins. And I'm not sure I'm going to do arms on this one. Because I think it could be quite nice with a, a top. And then I've just got perhaps a blue or a black uh, long sleeve t-shirt. Perhaps. I don't really know. So... Um, I'll keep you up to date on that one too. That was all I did this weekend, I think. Uh, and I think that's enough, isn't it? <laughs> so now I'm um, just doing some crochet on my color today. And 
I'll see you where that takes me. So until next time, love you, have a nice time, and keep on hooking. Bye.